A comet looping behind the sun right now could emerge this fall as a once in a lifetime spectacle, or it may not. Mike Shue explains. <laughs> I call it an intergalactic snowball. Educators have a different take. Oh, wait, that's called Comet Ison. NASA provided this image of Ison, a small head, big tail. That tail can get tens of millions of miles long, so it's huge. But in its middle, it's just dirt and ice, three miles across. Three miles, large enough to comfortably fit between the shores spanned by the Bay Bridge and its approach ramps. It could be the comet of the century. That's what some people were calling, but it's too early to really say that. That's a pretty big statement. It is, it's, and how far are we into the century? So we've got a long way to go, you know? <laughs> it is certain to light up the winter sky, that is, unless it doesn't. They don't know if the sun will blast it to bits. It only comes within a sort of a, a diameter of the sun away from the sun, 700,000 miles. So it's passing through the hot solar corona. That might break it apart. In that case, it could turn into smaller comets or disappear entirely. And if it doesn't bust apart, it could be visible for weeks from December in through January. At the Science Center, Mike Shue, WJZ Eyewitness News, back to you on TV Hill. The Science Center expects to have special programs if the comet is as visible as they hope it will be. Hey, crossing our fingers, that would be great to see that, something and fun. hopefully for clear skies. Yeah, you need you that too. You get clouds, you can't see a whole lot. All right.